Hey everybody, today I'm doing this um, do-it-yourself at home nail tutorial over the Zebra acrylic nails. Um, as you can see, they're very, very pretty, very fun. So if you guys would like to see how I did these um, nails, then please just continue watching. Okay, everyone, so as you can see, um, I already have most of the nails um, finished with the zebra stripes, um, except for these two over here. And so, first of all, I'll just show you the colors that I have, that I've used. This one is a corally um, pink color, and it is in Bright Lights Big Color. Um, it's showing up a little bit more pink. It's um, actually just a tad bit more coral. But bright lights, big color. And then this one in over the top blue, it's from the Shrek collection. And I'm just using a little um, LA Colors topper um, nail polish wand with it. So what you would want to do, of course, is to um, start off with your base color. Well, I started off with white nails, and then I painted the Bright Lights Big Color on it. And now I'm going to just be doing the, the zebra stripes. And so I'm just going to move these out of the way here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to show you guys on these two nails how to do the zebra stripes. It's really, really simple. It might just take some practice. Practice makes perfect. So um, this will be the part, the base of the nail, and then you would cut it uh, off up here however long you want it. So you want to start at the base, and I've already let this dry, the bright lights big color, and you're just going to want to take it, and this is what the wand looks like, just really skinny, and you're just going to want to go from side to side. So I'm just going to start on this side and make a line. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect, just in any random order. And then I'm going to on the other side. Make a strap. You can also use any color. It doesn't have to be this color combination. And you just go from side to side making lines, making them different widths, skinnier or um, larger, shorter or longer. And you just continue right up. And once you get the hang of it, it's really, really easy. It goes really, really fast. And you pretty much just. Um, do whatever your imagination sees. So that is what it should look like. Really, really easy and really, really pretty. So then once you get to this point, you are going to want to let all the nails dry and this is just them completed. So you're just going to want to let them dry and then that is when we will get to the point of adhering the nails and fixing the nails up. Okay guys, so once it dries, this is the part where you're going to want to adhere the nails, of course, to your fingers. So um, I've already started on the process and I'm just going to explain what I've already did and things like that. So. When you do that, you're going to want to take a nail primer and apply two to three coats onto your natural nails just so that the artificial tips will stick to your nails better. So I've already did it um, to these two nails, as you can see, and this other hand. And all that you're going to do is, first of all, size up. Well, you would have already sized up the nails before you even painted them. So, um, just figure out which one's the right size. And then, apply any sort of nail glue that you have to the base of the artificial nail tip. Get a moderately good amount. And then, make sure that it is straight and apply it to your nail and hold it down. You can also blow on it, blow air onto it, just so that it'll dry a little bit quicker. 
And so you're just going to want to hold that there for a second. Apply a good amount of pressure to it. And then you go from there. So then you can go on to your next. Now just kind of be careful with it um, while it is in the drying process. Again, just press down, press and hold. Again, I've got a good firm ungrip on the nail. And this is why you want it to make sure for the nail to be dry so that you will not mess your design up. So then you're just going to want to do that for all of your nails and then, um, so after that I'll do this last nail here and then I'll tell you what to do after you do that. Okay, so after you get all of these nails applied, that then you want to get to the point where you will clip them down to the size of the nail that you've wanted and so I've already did that on my right hand as you can see I just took a um, one of these big clippers and I've just trimmed them down to the size that I want and now I am just going to take a file and just file them down file the rough edges down and then when I do that I'll be right back Okay guys, so this is the point where we are going to now start doing the acrylics. And I've already did it on this hand. I'm completely finished with this hand. Um, so you want to have your acrylic liquid and your acrylic powder and just a brush. I actually use just an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush because I don't have a specific brush for this. Um, and you're just going to want to, of course, dip it in here. Do not get an overly excessive amount because if you do, then um, it will be too watery and will um, just slide right off of your nails. So just get some on there and then you can kind of wipe off, get a good amount of acrylic powder, and then starting at the bottom of your nail, just apply it on there and then sweep it up to the tip of the nail. And then if you get too much you can um, just clean it up a little bit. Like I've got a little bit too much it, so here on the sides I'm just going to clean it up. very very easily done and so then you have that so I'll just do another one real quick just to show you again um, again with the brush wipe it a little bit get the powder start at the bottom and then just bring it up and the way that you clean your brushes is just to use acetone, um, you can use an acetone nail polish remover or just plain acetone and that will clean your brush off and get the um, acrylic off of the, off of the brush. So you're just going to want to do this to all of your nails. Okay guys, so after um, the acrylic has dried, you're then going to want to take a, bait, a, um, a top coat and this is just Sally Hansen Hard as Nails with Nylon. Just a clear coat. And apply that over top of the nail just to give it a shiny um, top coat. And so you just let this dry and then that pretty much completes the nails. Um, it's just, again, a really, really pretty, easy, fun way to do acrylic nails.